It's like she's laughing to herself, like a bit psychotic. <laughs> Car. Do 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 on our way to Sophie's appointment. I know. <laughs> I'm coming in with Sophie today because we're talking about rude her surgery like um it's gonna be like her big consultant, so obviously I'm just going in with that just to be both of them. We're like, we'll take the dogs, because it's not been hot. They'll be fine in the car when we're in there. It's like the hottest day we've had in like the last month. How bloody typical. Soap's just like very unimpressed with her face. Um, we're just being nosy. My um, UV pen arrived today that I ordered to try out these stamps and um, we are still so gutted. We'll try and record it, but I don't think you're going to actually see anything. So we'll show you that when we get back. For now, we are off ski. So we're at the hospital and we've just found these. So Charlie wanted me to show you. It's literally like fairy tale come true. Reminds me of all those books I read when I was a kid of all these little fairies that lived by mushrooms and toadstools and things. Fairies really are true. They are. <laughs> it's like there's other mushrooms growing up there. Yeah, like just like plain white ones. Yeah, take a picture. So. So put this down and Albert's not moved. Hi! What you doing under there? Oh, I do? Yeah. Wiggling? Yeah. We've got also the whole bloody car park. There's all these multiple spaces all up there. There's a huge bit there. There's a gap there. Gap even there. And this person parks that close. Sophie won't even be able to open her door fully, which, which isn't having a knackered knee yeah. isn't all that helpful right now. So I'm going to get in. So we've just come out of Sophie's appointment, just grabbed some dinner, and um, a bloke in a van has pulled up next to us, and he's eating his dinner. He keeps looking over at Sophie. I don't think he's rec like recognised, realised that I'm sat in the car with Soph and obviously we're having a bit of a chat and a giggle and every time I look over I catch a glance of him looking at Soph and uh, I think it's because he's not realised that I'm sat in the back and Soph keeps laughing so it looks like she's laughing to herself like a bit psychotic <laughs> yep he's just looked again <laughs> So, um, it's quite entertaining, actually. I'm oh. so tempted to just shout, you're right back there, babe. You ain't got no windows open. Well, if you can hear me laughing, then you can hear something. No, you can see you smiling. He's watching you. So, so um. I don't want to eat. <laughs> and he just chowed down his, his burger in four bites. Like, what the fuck? Do you not digest your food? Or chew your food yeah. to help with the digestion? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back to my dinner.
So here's the stamps with the UV pen. I'm going to put a picture at the end of what they're supposed to look like. I don't know if you can see the... The end of the wand is supposed to... glow and it doesn't. Can you see the Hogwarts sign around the train? Only half of it does. Harry's wand is meant to, but it doesn't. The lights on the train, uh, on the car, glow a little bit. And the moon is supposed to glow. I suppose that does. Ron's wand doesn't. The lights on the bus do. And or like on the carriage bit do, kind of. Neville's one's supposed to and it doesn't. The Triwizard Cup mm, kind of does, but not really well. I mean, the Harry Potter comes up really well on the piece of paper there. Because when you take that away, it doesn't, like, there's nothing there. You can see Jenny's wand, tiny little bit, and the moon is supposed to, which kind of does, and Hagrid's light on his motorbike kind of does. So, still an epic fail in my eyes. So, I've just bent over. I can't see it as well from this angle. Look how cool her hair went. I feel like she should um, be someone from the Grinch with their cool hair. <laughs> also in the mail today, I've got two extra ones of these. Owls and cafe stuff how cool is that i've now got four yay i think that's all of them now i'm not entirely sure i'll have to keep checking the website oops <laughs> cousin it back there so we got home 30 minutes ago they've had their tea they their faces because they've had a really, really nice tea and nice day and it's been a long day because we left at like one o'clock really yeah and stressful we just settle down light the candles start my 5d so he plays on the playstation and dixie comes up and was like we're like well, you need a wee now open the door back up Back and in, then back she out, keeps running, out. her head down there, coming down this way. And do you want to know what it was that she was trying to get our attention with? She was sniffing so shoes. Because I put these on every day. When to we take them out. out there. So we're going out there. Isn't that right, little man? She's one clever shit. Thank you. Clever shit, little man. And we I'm are smiling. pooped. I'm smiling. Yeah, Sophie's driven that. from one end of Cornwall to the other, and I'm using my hand as a gesture again, and you can't bloody see it. Well, you know you're doing <laughs> They'll know that you know that they'll know. Yeah. I know what I mean. And it's I'm pooped anyway, because it, it's Just being on... And yeah, and, and port being port upright, and being on portable oxygen, it is completely different... To being on a concentrator at home, which is the big block there. That. Did you just show them the five day? Hopefully not. <laughs> we'll cover it out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it 
flows different and it it just it makes it macaron so it looks like we are now going out with the girls in the pitch black in the cold so normally being out all day like they've done that is enough for them because of the excitement the smells the seeing different things but no i guess it's really cute because it kind of means that they actually genuinely have more energy nowadays because of the fact that they're like working out yeah but she clearly wants to play with the frisbee so we'll go do that on other news we know that the uv light torch thing that I bought works and that it's generally the stamps that are shit because I tested on my handy peg. Go. Mitch, Chief, Matt, yeah, you're, you're going further and further away. God, you're so slow. I'm doing it on purpose so that people get the chance to read it. The love bit was added afterwards. Are you sure you don't love your mischief manager? No. So yeah, epic fail on Royal Mart Ma Mail's part. Hi there. You caught me. And you caught me eating again. <laughs> yeah, we have this running theme <laughs> that every time Charlie puts the camera on me, I'm eating. At least mine's tablets. No calories in that. I'm pretty sure there is. Just chalk. And sugar. Well, then none of it's on my tongue right now. You what? what? Though none of it's on my tongue right now. Uh. It's probably my teeth. No, that's mm -hmm. just a filling. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I can see a little bit of pink there. <laughs> Yum! Evenings with Charlie's mouth. Ooh, tooth update. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> <laughs> It totally looked like the screen had frozen for a minute then. <laughs> Tooth update. Uh, yeah, Can it's not really moved very far. Me, man. Oh. Oh. Sneasels. What? Hi, people. <laughs> She's so knackered. Because Dixie was so adamant that we were going out. Yeah. They stayed out for 25 minutes, which is impressive considering they were out for six hours. Um... <laughs> But oh, Alba no. struggled getting up on the sofa. She struggled climbing the stairs. She struggled just, jumping on the bed. She's just so tired. She's like, I can't get the energy. Uh, no more. Help me, Mama. Mm -hmm. Oh, you kissed my head. Yeah. And I did a really loud swallow. Oh. Did, you, did you? It was basically that. Yeah. 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 We're going to update you tomorrow on Sophie's appointment. Just yeah. let things sink in a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't put my inhaler back. Rude. And then other than that... <laughs> oh, I finished my half of the 5D! Bar like 10 White. of one colour that, yeah, <coughs> that... I didn't want to open another no, pack for... No point. Because I'm going to be saving that colour till last because I, I started with that colour and... I can't do it. <laughs> no. I think I you'd find it better it. with a torch. Because I had to use a torch for the Possibly. rest of it. I just really struggled. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going <coughs> to go with the more colourful colours rather than the white initially. Mm -hmm. And then see how I go. But yeah. we're half done. Over half done because I have done some. Yes. That is true. And was when, whilst Soph is doing her half, I'm going to be making the frame for it. Yeah. Yay. Out of a palette. Yeah. We like to upcycle. We do. <coughs> Even if it's not always like it's net to be fair. It's never perfect. But that's the whole point in upcycling. Mm -hmm. oh, I made yes, a picket so fence out of pallets so before. Spooky. Yeah, and it was up for like a month and then the builders came Yeah, they ripped it, it down. down. It was unimpressed. It took me months. Yeah, because they said that they'd put it back up again, didn't they? But and they they'd didn't. put it up a little bit more securely. And they didn't. Now we've just got bloody metal railing metal council railings, looking shit we've got to try and figure some kind of fence up to go up there anyway because like we've got this little thin bamboo type stuff but some <coughs> ponies we asked we said we needed a fence to block off the grass um because obviously we've got two bitches they kill the grass Excuse me. <laughs> and um Don't call us 
that's, that, that's why I built the picket fence. So when they were doing all the building work, the adaptations <laughs> for um, like my wheelchair and stuff, they said they'll put up a fence. And we're like, okay, fine. <clears throat> so they put up this beautiful wooden gate. And <coughs> two, built and everything. Yeah, two wooden posts. And then they put... <laughs> A metal fence. Like literally, it's poles going. It's not a metal. Up. It's metal railings. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll video it for you tomorrow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's Yes. I know. Mm. I love you. I'm um, gonna sneeze in a minute because mummy's gonna spray me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll video that tomorrow if we remember, of course. Um, hopefully we will. But oh, so funny, so so funny. The things we deal with. You're doing so good. She used to run away from this spray. You're amazing. You know that. You're so, so good. She's getting quite red here and here. Yeah. You're amazing. You're gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful girl. You just... Oh, thank you. I've just found a channel on oh. Facebook. I'm going to see if they've got a channel on YouTube. Oh. It's called How Far Is oh. Tattoo Far? <laughs> so funny. So, so funny. Better? So if you're on Facebook, go check it out. And I'm going to have a look on YouTube to see if it's on here. Because they're really good. But for now... <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. I'm going to fuss Alba whilst Soph does Dixie's wipes and stuff. And... Oh! <laughs> we will see you tomorrow.